All right, I'm going to do a uh, little video of uh, my home gym, um, just so you guys kind of know what uh, the president of the USPC has in his uh, garage. Um, no vehicles, just uh, a lot of uh, stuff that uh, you might get a kick out of to see in here. All right, here we go. All right, I've got a pretty full dumbbell rack. Um, I, um, I go five pound increments up to uh, 40, then jump to uh, by tens up to 80. I got some 80s over on the other side of the uh, garage here. So um, ab mat and um, some, uh, oh, we've got the, I use this small piece here to uh, help get an arch for my bench. Um, since I have no upper back flexibility, that's pretty handy. Uh, a lot of mobility things there, some fat grips. Of course, uh, down below here, my uh, dumbbell rack. I've got some slam balls, some med balls. Um, it's a bit of a mess down here. A board assortment, so uh, one through uh, five boards. And uh, I have also my uh, bench blocks here. I've got the uh, two through five and then the half and the one down in there as well. I know it looks like, oh, nope, I lied. It's over here. So uh, <clears throat> I've got uh, all the bench blocks pieces. Uh, some kettlebells. The grandson likes to roll the 53 around, so it always ends up somewhere throughout the gym here. I do have a pull sled as well. And then those are parallettes. Um, if I ever got my shoulder good enough to do some gymnastic stuff. So that is, uh, that incorporates that side of the uh, garage. Of course, I got a uh, adjustable bench. Uh, it'll do incline, decline, of course, flat as well. Um, I have a full kilo set. I own probably four sets of kilos, somewhere thereabouts. And uh, so I stuck one in the garage. Um, comes in uh, handy in here. Of course, I must have a USPC banner. This rack here kind of goes with uh, the, the rucking stuff. Um, I've got a, um, of course, a, a cold weather jacket. This is nice to do layers for when it's cold, the street parking, uh, uh, for when it's uh, street parking pullover, for when it rains. This is not a urinal bladder. This is a hydration bladder. It kind of looks like a urinal bladder. And um, then my uh, F8 single ply. I did have the uh, USPC um, logo put on the sleeves. But uh, my bench shirt hanging up in here as well. Um, didn't catch my uh, choose the harder thing. It's a little covered up by the door that I am uh, yet to install. But uh, I'll get around to that one of these days. Then I've got my gym clock. This is actually the clock that we had in our gym when I owned uh, CrossFit Intense and Intense Barbell Club. I had a CrossFit affiliate for 12 years, sold it a couple years ago here. And uh, that is the clock from there. Uh, this was today's workout. This is what I call my beer fridge. Um, I'm not gonna show you inside of it, but uh, all kinds of uh, fun stuff in there. We've got, or flag, of course, got to have an American flag in your gym, and it gets moved around a little bit um, as I need to get some some space occasionally. We're a pretty small footprint in here. This is just a basic home use um, pull down uh, and row, so we can do a lot of stuff here. The seat's removable. Uh, it is all plate loaded. There's those 80s we discussed, um, and um, you can see I've got my all kinds of general garage stuff, as you would imagine. Some tools, I got more tools and stuff over on the other side. Uh, a lot of cleaning supplies. I do try to keep it clean. Um, so right here, I got some weight releasers, which is really handy on um, doing some overload work and uh, use those occasionally. And uh, back behind the wall here, I've got uh, some ruck plates. There's a 30. Uh, that looks like a 20, and I believe there's a 10 back behind that one. So an assortment of ruck plates, then uh, some ropes, 
And that attachment right there is actually a belt squat attachment for my power rack, um, which is really handy. We've got some bumpers. Oh, and I'm gonna come back to this. This little bar jack here, this is a uh, West Cary, old West Cary style. It's probably 15 years old or so, but uh, it, is, it is great. And it's my very first little bar jack that I ever got. And uh, it works really well. Anyways, back to uh, the rack here. Got some more bumpers, um, some Rogue HD collars, of course. Got to know what the temperature and the humidity is like in here. So we'll kind of bring it back, let you see oops, um, what our uh, rack looks like here. So the, uh, this is a Titan uh, 3x3 uh, rack with, uh, I did add the Rogue uh, mono attachments. The rogue mono attachments are set at bench height. Uh, I'll squat on the outside of it here. I don't squat heavy anymore. <laughs> Arguably, I never squatted heavy. But uh, the um, um, but on my uh, setup and my ability to uh, get under the bar and stay safe, uh, I've got the safeties and, and of course, the, uh, the rogue uh, mono attachments, which um, makes it to where I don't need somebody to lift off for me. So I can, I can get the bar out of the rack and and uh, do my work there. So I've got a few pull-up attachments. Um, so I've got the, uh, the arched uh, piece there where you've got the different grips. I have the uh, most grips, so you've got more of a freestyle type of uh, uh, grip if we're doing some pull-ups. Um, I did add in this chest supportive uh, uh, piece here, and this, you pull the pin, and it will adjust, so you can do chest supported rows. You can do a lot of different stuff here with uh, this piece of equipment. I actually use that a pretty decent amount. It's really pretty nice. Um, then, uh, oh, we'll come around here. I've got a uh, weighted vest. I think it has 20s in it. Down here in the mess that the grandkids always play with are my bands. Um, a lot of uh, warm up stuff and shoulder work. Had shoulder surgery a couple years ago. And uh, that's been really handy to uh, get my shoulder uh, somewhat use usable and still not. Uh, more bumpers. I do have a safety squat bar. This is the uh, Bells of Steel uh, safety squat bar. It is, uh, I, I really like it. Uh, I had the uh, Elite FTS one when I had the gym, sold it. Um, here is uh, some attachments for the Titan rack for uh, dips. Um, I got a band assortment and uh, oh, shout out to uh, DB Gear for uh, making me a uh, custom belt, USPC Lane. And uh, really check out dbgear.net. Uh, he uses these, um, it's a, a ratcheting style belt uh, where, and it's uh, basically the same ratchet like you would see on ski boots. And it works really, really well. Uh, it's ingenious, really. Um, also, Matt at uh, Pioneer made me this intensive tire belt uh, with the uh, offset holes. These are really, really nice. And then uh, several years ago, he made me this Iron Man belt. It's a, a more of a bench belt. It's a, narrow, it's a small one, three inches. Um, I've got, uh, this is my belt squat attachment. And then this is for uh, pull-ups, dips, if we want to add some weight. All right, into our bars. So I've got a uh, Texas Power Bar. I do have an, again, faster, uh, kind of all general, uh, all-purpose um, weightlifting bar. There is a 35-pound bar back there, 15 kilos. And then I've got this nice rackable, this is from Bells of Steel, this rackable uh, curl bar that uh, I don't use much at all, but uh, I should. And then back behind all of that is the uh, two inch uh, hollow axle bar from Rogue. Um, get some use out of that as well. I do have a Titan attachment for the rack that you can do um, seated leg extensions and standing leg curls. This is really nice. It's just a big heavy monster to move around. So I don't use it uh, that often, but uh, I do have it. All right, we'll get into some of our Go Ruck stuff. Over here is my Go Ruck wall. I've got the uh, the standard plate carrier, and this is just for carrying plates. Um, that's all that that does. It doesn't have any sort of uh, function to it. I do have some straps on both the long plate carrier, so I can get uh, a 45 pound plate into this one, and up to 30 in this one. 
and um, those straps are great for pulling that thing from the front and pulling it back up onto your back to give you just a little bit of relief really really handy this is one of my plate carriers um, this is uh, that's what I usually keep the 30 pounder in and um, it's uh, it's got a lot of room I keep a uh, and of course we've got our reflector stuff on here um, I keep um, some water first aid kit um, a uh, windbreaker just something to keep me uh, dry usually a p extra a pair of socks in case we uh, get a blister or something while we're out on the trail and uh, a few little odds and ends a battery charger uh, stuff like that this one here is uh, bigger um, it's got the um, wraparound harness so it keeps the uh, ruck a little tighter to you this has um, multiple um, you can add multiple plates to this Oh, helps if I get in the right section so you can see a lot of uh, a lot of storage that I've barely utilized there is uh, all kinds of stuff that can be kept in this thing it is a big pack um, but here we've got we've got a double plate here so this is a 45 pound long plate and then there's room for another short plate so you could add a 10 20 30 um, 30 is about the max you could also add some sand in here if you want to go heavier uh, went up to 100 pounds with the pack before um, and it'll it'll absolutely do it it holds up really really well uh, works great Got some old um, foot blocks for um, uh, intense attire uh, I don't know how maybe five six years old uh, blocks and then over here, we've got our Gorex sandbags, uh, 2040, uh, the 60 is over here. Just use that today. And then uh, I've got an 80 and a 100. And I've got a buried underneath there, and I'm not going to move the bags, is a uh, rogue push sled. You can push it. You can pull it. And it's got the skis on it so I can do it outside and not destroy anything. Holds up pretty well. I do have a preacher curl pad. Uh, I don't have a preacher curl bench, but uh, this pad's pretty nice from Abmat. If you can see it there um, sits in your lap and do preacher curls um, then the got the uh, crash pads here um, more times than not I use those little six inch crash pads to uh, give me a little height to be able to reach the bar for pull-ups since I'm uh, vertically challenged and then got some jump boxes um, got an old one here this one uh, we made it when I had uh, a CrossFit gym in uh, Clarksburg and uh, my dad, who passed away about three years ago, um, he, he and I built those together. So I kept one uh, just mainly for sentimental value. And uh, it's a little beat up, but it still works great. Over here, we've got um, my uh, Titan bike, which I uh, used that today. Suck factor's pretty high on that thing. And uh, I'm getting outside of workout equipment now. We've got, of course, a lawnmower and all that kind of stuff. But uh, there's, I have uh, six grandchildren right now, and uh, we've got um, one of the car seats. There's one in my truck as well. So sometimes I'm rocking dual car seats. Uh, depends on the uh, grandchildren. Uh, gym fan, crucial, crucial. Uh, back to my USPC banner, and then my Husky toolbox and generator. You might have seen all that in my first pass through. So that's kind of... Uh, General little rundown of uh, my home gym. Uh, I forgot to focus on my Trek bike before I run off. Uh, speaking of my father, uh, he bought this in the early 90s. Uh, I added the shock and um, had it, actually just had it reconditioned. Uh, bike shop uh, Wamsley's up in Morgantown did an outstanding job. It was really old and just wouldn't shift gears very well. The brakes were bad, tires needed replaced, just a lot of things needed calibrated. And those guys really worked wonders on it and it worked great now. So this bike's uh, 30 something years old, 31, 32 years old and uh, runs like a brand new one. So um, shout out to uh, Wamsley's. Anyways, that concludes uh, the gym tour here. I uh, hope you got something out of this uh, and feel free to uh, share what your gym looks like and uh, what you guys use. Thanks.